Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to the all panels. My name is Hidina Rasumiza and today I would like to present my proposed detail area at Sepilok Orangutan Sanctuary Park Sandakan. First thing first, I would like to state here the main issue of the detail area. First, lake with interactive and attractive space setting. Second, poor wayfinding and accessibility. And the last one, limited interaction between orangutan and visitors. Next, we move on to the synthesis. There are eight spaces. First, yellow color. Proposed outdoor learning space for children which call jungle school by having variety of activity that relate to ecology and nature as well. Second, blue color. Proposed research lab for researcher and student who are doing study on ecological, science and geography. Third, the purple color. Proposed habitat area for male orangutan as well as the character who are usually solitary. This will create a different habitat and show each character through their gender. 4. The brown color. Proposed female orangutan with their baby to show the different types of habitat activity each gender. 5. The red color. Proposed play area for kids through natural environment learning. 6. The orange color. Propose baby orangutan play area to create variety type of habitat. 7. The green color. Propose observation tower for top view enjoyment activities for visitors. And the last one, dark brown color. Propose in the interactive for safety purpose through tunnel access and classroom exhibit. Next, we move on to the conceptual development. M. To create an attractive area within forest space setting where visitors can interact with orangutan and relate to natural environment. There are two objectives which is provide features, facilities and activity that will fulfill the sanctuary park aspect of education, conservation and recreation. And the second one is design a natural forest setting which accommodate visitors and orangutan needs and comfort. Move on to the design strategies. There are two design strategies. First, learning through interaction and learning through experience. Second one, implement ecological design to enhance natural landscape setting. So that, I decide to have Pongo Pygmies as my concept. Pongo Pygmies is a scientific name for Borneo orangutan. I implement orangutan character inside the proposed area in order to achieve three factors, which is education, recreation, and conservation. I divide it into three zones, which is educational zone, interactive zone, and observation zone. So that I implement the character to each zone. Next, move on to the schematic diagram. There are seven spaces proposed according to the synthesis. First space is mini lab. Proposed research lab for the researcher, students who are doing research study in ecology, science and geography scope. This is for educational purpose. Second is jungle school. Propose activity for the kids and expose them with outdoor classroom. This is for educational and also recreational. Third, Pongo male. Propose a space for male orangutan so that visitors able to experience different character and habitat through orangutan gender. This will be recreation, education and conservation. Fourth, Big Empire, which proposes a space for female orangutan and the baby to show their daily activity which different from the male orangutan. This will be educational, conservation and recreation. Fifth, Kids Kingdom, proposes a play space for children through fruits and orangutan sculpture so that the children are able to enjoy their visit and learn to play. This will be the recreation and educational. Six interpretive tower by proposed space for visitors to enjoy the top view of forest while looking for orangutan handmade nest by themselves by having viewing tower. This will be educational, recreation and conservation. Seven Indo interactive by proposed indoor exhibits for visitors for the safety purpose through wood tunnel access. This will be conservation and indoor recreation. So we move on to the detailed area plan, which consists seven spaces according 
to the synthesis and the schematic diagram. Based on the detailed area plane, we can see that I implement natural color, patterns and form of the design. Since I want to highlight the educational factors in my detailed design idea, I propose Jungle School which exposes the children on having enjoy and excitement program which is by having an outdoor learning activity lead and conduct by the Century Ranger. The children will be exposed with the interesting outdoor learning by having natural art, science and geography scope activity. This will build up their awareness and improve the knowledge on natural environment. These illustrations show the entrance of Jungle School with interesting signboard and full with the children run around. Beside that, I also propose Kids Kingdom area which displays a proposed for the children play area which expose them with orangutan deliberation with create fruit sculpture with the information given for the recreation and educational purpose. This kind of space will encourage children to having a different kind of play area which is learning while play. It will expose them to create sense of awareness to the nature in themselves. Natural timber hanging platform are proposed for orangutan main play structure since they love to hanging from trees to another. So by having new additional timber hanging platform, it will look more clear image of visitors to see their movement as well as their interaction to others. This illustration shows the orangutan applying the timber hanging platform in their habitat and watched by the visitors as well. And the cross section show the space with the timber hanging platform and water element for orangutan play area. Other than that, I also propose mini hanging bridge for the baby orangutan to train them and expose them to the play structure and feel independent in themselves. While that, timber hanging platform also surely be their main play structure since they are not able to play under the high rainforest trees. Since they are outdoor open space interaction with orangutan, then I enhance the indoor exhibit through classroom exhibit to the wood tunnel cross access for the visitors to move from building to another building through the wood tunnel which provide a safety aspect for them so that they are able to interact with the wild orangutan through the glass and wood tunnel as well as the close to them but in safety way. This cross section shows the area of the natural wood tunnel and the exhibit's area. Last but not least, I propose interpretive tower for the visitors to expose them to having a different level of experience which able to enjoy the top view of the forest and experience to observe orangutan natural nest platform which built by themselves around the highest ficus trees. So for my overall design detail stage, I'm more focusing on design the space to accommodate both needs and comfort which is for orangutan and visitors as well. So by that, I back to my objective which having a functional space by implement ecological design to enhance the natural landscape setting which focusing on learning through interaction and experience that consists three aspects which is education, conservation and recreation. That's all. Thank you.